So we're going to dive right in because we've got a lot, lot that we want to cover. Um, so feel free as we're going along here to post those questions, as I mentioned, in the, the control panel, and we'll tackle those. Um, the live demonstration, we're going to start looking at the BI Publisher standalone. We're going to log in to the web interface, take a look at some financial reports. These are all part of our preferred strategies BI Quick Launch, and we'll get into more about what that entails at the end. But these are some sample reports for J.D. Edwards that, that we've we provide and, and that we're going to demonstrate. We're going to drill down to those reports so you can see the type of interactive nature that users can can utilize as they're, they're drilling through um, financial and operational type reports. We'll build a new report, kind of ad hoc report on the fly. Then we'll show you some of the scheduling functionality. Then we're going to kind of skip over to the OneView side and uh, we'll show you some of the package reports from Oracle, show you some of the sample reports that we've done on the OneView side. And then we'll even build a new report there so you can kind of see the, the starting point. Now, as we get into the standalone, if we time permitted, we may jump in and um, take a look at the data model. That's kind of the main driver. Then we'll, we'll kind of show you some of that. Uh, and then also the, we have a JD Edwards table and query utility to help you mine the different tables and fields and find out where information may reside within the, the JD Edwards uh, data model. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to... Another desktop here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up just a browser. And as a user, if I were coming in here, that's what I would need. So if I log in here, I'm just going to go here to the catalog. I'm going to run over. And within our BI Quick Launch folder here, I've just put out there some of the different folders by the different JD Edwards modules with some reports. We kind of have this financial reporting package demo that we'll uh, utilize today. You'll notice there when I just navigate, um, and you'll notice the different folders here. Because this is a BI Publisher Enterprise, if you have OBIEE, this would be an element of that as well. Um, but you can actually just purchase the BI Publisher Enterprise. You get some of it for free. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But uh, you'll notice the different folders here that, that are set up. Because it's a, a managed um, you know, web uh, architecture, you can secure people out. So if I'm an inventory manager, I might only see an inventory folder here, where if I'm the CFO or controller, I might see you know, all folders that are, are, are there. So um, I'm actually just navigated here to the general accounting reports folder. I'm going to click on this, this report, just hit open. So you can go ahead and open up the, um, the BI Publisher report. Now, this report has been set up to prompt for company, change maybe the fiscal year, and the period that you may want. All right, so, for instance, if I was looking at this report and I wanted to see this not for December, but maybe for July, I could go ahead and select that, hit Apply, and I'll re-update that for uh, that month. Okay, so you'll notice some different tabs here. This is one of the nice features of the BI Publisher is you actually can, can create multiple layouts, um, which are each of these tabs is kind of referred to as a report layout. You build those with the layout editor. Uh, we'll show you that in, in a minute, but, um, but it's kind of nice to be able to get different flavor. In this case, we're looking at an income statement by company where the detail rows here, maybe by object account, traditional income statement, revenue, cost, gross profit, overhead. Obviously, every company is a little different in how they, they summarize this and what other subtotal levels, and that's all things that as we help customers get up and running, we go through that and help them get those reports set up properly with all the proper drill paths as well. So another flavor may be very similar of the columns, but maybe looking at this with you know, different uh, rows. In this case, we've swapped out the object accounts with maybe things like uh, a branch or business unit. So now we can kind of see, you know, the breakdown, which in each of these high-level categories by, by business unit. We go over here to like a business unit summary. Maybe we're looking at a full P&Ls at the business unit level. So now we're starting at a, each business unit, seeing revenue, cost, gross profit, G&A, and then maybe net income, um, real summarized. The next tab, we'll actually see it more detailed. So in this case, we're, we're looking at, um, go ahead and... Uh, Here's the zoom on that a little bit so you can see. So now if I were to scroll down in this report and I wanted to go maybe drill down, these are, are now you'll notice some hyperlinks appear to be there. 
in the report. So I go down here to, or let's say I'm looking at this report and for corporate administration, and I want to find out, okay, maybe I've got this rent expense line here. I've got $8,000 of year-to-date rent expense, and I want to find out what makes that up. So this is one of the, the nice things about the BI Publishers Interactive and Standalone. Um, if I go ahead and click on that, it actually allows me to link from one report to another and pass over some of the, the logic that, that's needed for these, these link to reports to, to process. Um, so this is another way, not just for financial reports, but this would be great for job cost reports or sales analysis reports or any report where you want to have a summarized view of the data and then drill into that to see some of the more detailed data that, that rolls up. In this case, we drill down from a, an income statement down to the general ledger transaction. So this is all the stuff that would be originated from on the general ledger. But if we want to go here, for instance, to $800 for Allen Supplies for storage unit rental, right? we want to see the AP invoice associated with that. We can go ahead and click on that. Now it's drilling down to an AP uh, detail report. All right, so now we're looking at the accounts payable information associated with that. Uh, what's well, still open? Hundred dollars. We can even see here's the check number. If there's a check been already processed there, uh, what's the PO and what's existing still on the purchase order? Drill into that, and then it's in essence running a quick report on the on the purchase order side. Um, so real quick, you kind of get a sense that you know the goal here would be you build some reports you make them um, with uh, this capability for the, the applicable users and they can actually self-service uh, their own answers to questions that may may come up. Let me go ahead and just click back a few times here to get back to our report. So that was the uh, Income Statement Business Unit. If you want, you know, doing things with sales calculations or some other flavors of those. Um, here's, a, in essence, a balance sheet that we brought into this report package. And then we have also, um, you know, a, a detail. You know, on the detail side, if we were doing to drill into, just like we did an income statement, maybe I want to get and find out, you know, we can drill in from a balance sheet. Again, taking us back to the same report, and here's the underlying detail there.